What up, people? It's Nick Ops here, and we are going to be reviewing the best Cetrion versus one of the best Kung Laos in the world. Now, let's just get right into this. All right. Okay, zoning them out, you know, Cetrion things. All right, he's in now. He's staggering. Got the hop. He didn't get a conversion. Oh, he knew. Oh, he didn't get the punish. Hmm. Mm. Okay. What's the guess? Oh, nice punish. Ignore that song in your face. We're going to be using that to censor the crushing blows. <laughs> All right. Got the punish. Hmm. Mm, knockdown. What are you gonna do with that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, if he meant to do that, that was good. That's all Kung Lao could do is get the grab in. But if he would have guessed right and did a mid, Dragon would have died. All right. Just go and set your own thing. Punish. Mm. Ooh, the respect. Mm. Mm. That should be plus. Oh, he could have got more damage. Saggers. Kept it safe. Oh, that was smart to get out of the corner. They're really trying to understand how each other play. You can tell they don't play together a lot. He's just waiting. Oh. Mm, there we go. Now, I do think Kung Lao, if he teleports and grabs you on a counter hit or punish, I think it should be a crushing blow. That's just my opinion. All right, just doing set your own thing. Oh, he didn't believe. His tech are on point. Oh, that was really good. Alright, what's the... What are we gonna do? Oh, he knew. And he got him. Dang, okay. Okay, so what I've noticed from the first match, it just seems like they're getting used to each other. Like, they're both top players, so I'm not sure if they trained together before this, but they don't look like they're used to fighting each other. But we'll see as we get into the next match. All right, Cetrion thing. Oh, he made three. He's being very patient. Oh, and right when I said that. <laughs> Conversion. A knockdown. What's he going to do? Of course, more rocks. Cetrion thing. Oh. Okay. Real master comeback moment. Hold up. 
Oh no. Nope. He was like, uh uh, you're not about to highlight real me. Alright. Oh, he tried to punish. Oh, he should have just grabbed. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's spacing. Yeah, there's not really much to commentate about this match because it it's mostly just them at like some type of mid range staring at each other. <laughs> yep, he adjusted. Didn't even fatality back. Hmm, okay. I like that outro. Ooh, I think he almost got a conversion off of that. That was good. All right, get that conversion in, knockdown. Ooh, he flawless block. I'm not sure if the flawless block takes away the plus frames from it. I actually should go look at that. Ooh. Amazing anti-air. Uh-oh. All right, what you gonna do with this? Uh, mm -mm. All right, another chance. Restand. Uh... If he grabbed, he would have got him right there. Okay. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, I thought we we're gonna see some kung lao things. All right, and that pretty much does it. Dragon takes it. So, during these videos, I usually just go over what happened in the match and everything, and then have a little review at the end, but now we're actually going to go more in depth on what happened. So, as you can see, Dragon, he just seemed to be the better player, and most people, when they go against Kung Lao, they don't really know the matchup. They don't know what to do at all. They don't know how to fight the character, how to punish him. I literally watched a top eight. Which one was it? Defend the North. Nobody punished Kung Lao once for doing forward one three. But a player like Dragon isn't going to let Kung Lao get away with stuff like that. Now, I think he did a bit, but for the most part, he didn't just let him run away with doing unsafe things. He just didn't. And I think that's what it takes to fight Kung Lao. Most people who think he is good don't really look at his frame data at all or learn how to fight him. They just get dive kicked all day and jumped on and then run and say the character's good. But that was a very good match. Props to both players. They're both very good. And I might be doing another video on Splash pretty soon because I really enjoy watching his Kung Lao. Splash plays like the more typical Lao. You know, Foxy has his reserve style and then Splash brings like the craziness to Lao. He has a different style, but it's more typical, but refined. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitch and my Patreon. And Nick Ops out.